Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the better jigsaw transition. Alright, so first of all you need two clips. So this will be my clip 1 and this is my clip 2. So now I go to the transition point and I go one frame to the right. Now I cut my clip, then I go one frame to the left and I zoom in a little bit and I press right click onto the single frame. I go to change clip speed and I hit the freeze frame box and press change. Now I drag this freeze frame one layer up and to the left. And I drag my second clip to the left to fill this gap. Okay, now I increase the length of my still frame to 10 frames. Then I select my still frame and I go into fusion. In here I go into the node field and I copy and paste my media in one node four times by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And now I delete my original media in one node. After that I drag and drop a background node into the node field and I connect this background to my media out node. I go into the inspector and I decrease the alpha to zero. And now I will cut my video into many different parts. So I press this left view button onto my media in one node. And this video should be sliced into four different parts. So this will be my part one, then this will be my part two, this will be my part three, and this is my part four. So I just add four polygon nodes into the node field. Then I connect them. And I select my first polygon node. I go into the inspector and I hit the invert box. Then I increase the soft edge to 0.001. And I do the same for polygon 2, polygon 3 and polygon 4. Alright, and now I will mask out my parts. So I masked out my first part and now again I hit the invert box. Now redo this procedure for the other three polygon masks. Alright, and as you can see I have masked out the four parts of my video. And of course the masks are matching, so these lines are the same lines as these lines right here. That's very important. Now select your background node and press shift and space by the same time. Search for multi-merge. Select multi-merge and press add. And connect all media in one nodes to your multi-merge node. So now it should look like this. Now I just reposition this. Then go to your first media in one node and add a transform node into the node field. Go 5 frames to the right and create a keyframe at the center x and center y values. Go to settings, enable the motion blur option and increase the quality. Then go back to controls, go to your first frame and change the position so that you only see the transparent background. Now do the same for the other parts of your video. Okay, so after you've done that, it should look like this. Now open this blind tab and select all of your transform nodes. Press left click to select them and press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out the animation. Okay, now go to frame 5 of your animation. Select your multi-merge node and press shift and space by the same time. Search for directional blur. Select this directional blur and press add. Now create some keyframes at the length and angle. Go one frame to the right, change the angle to your liking and increase the length a little bit. Then again go one frame to the right, change the angle to your liking and again go one frame to the right and change the angle. And again create a keyframe at the length and go to your last frame and decrease the length to zero. So now it should look like this. Now again go to frame 5. Select your directional blur node and press shift and space by the same time and search for soft glow. Select soft glow, press add. Okay, go into the inspector and decrease the gain to zero and create a keyframe. Go two frames to the right and increase the gain to your liking a little bit. So I will use 0.67 and again I go two frames to the right and I decrease the gain to zero. Alright, and that's it. So I hope this video has helped you, if so then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos to learn more about DaVinci Resolve and transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Check the first link in the description to get some nice free effects from aejuice.com. And thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.